that sound deep there. Uh, I don't know if they even make this or not. Damn. Give me a hell. That's deep right there, Dan. <laughs> Told me your, uh, your bag there. I'll hand it to you. I got it. Yeah, you'll have to kind of make a jump for it. the life of a bank fisherman. It ain't easy, folks. Huh? It's on, baby. Mason's hooked up, white our bass. white bass. Well, there's one, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we came after.
What you got there? That's a good one there. Heck yeah, that's a good one. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, that feels like a good one. Oh, it's a large mouth, pretty good one too. Come here, baby. Oh, oh, hold still. Ow. Man, that fish is beat up. He wasn't going nowhere. All right. Finally, folks, I caught me a... Did you? <laughs> Nick's got one down there. That there, it's not a bad bass. There we go. Caught him on the old Bayou Boogie, folks. I don't know if you've ever used a Bayou Boogie, but I've caught a lot of fish on them over the years. Look at him, he's beat up. Like he is scarred. I don't know if he got hit by a boat or what. Oh, yeah, there he goes. Thank you, Lord. Well, at least I can say I'm not getting skunked. Totally, anyway. He hit just right out in there. He was in about two foot of water. You should have seen him. He he was he that fish looked like he was about looked like a zombie. <laughs> he had cuts all up and down his side. He looked like he had he, his guts about. Unfortunately, my camera died, but Mason and Nick caught a few more nice ones right at the end of the day. Thanks for watching, folks. I appreciate it. Please hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.